BenQ was kind enough to send over this monitor, which I've been using for a few days now in my new setup, which is slowly coming together. It's actually really cool that I'm getting to work with BenQ on this. I've been using their Halo bar for several years now, so I'm already a customer and getting to collaborate with them feels like a full circle moment for me. And I'll be honest, this monitor is completely different from everything else I've used in the past. And this is especially true for me as a cybersecurity professional who has various tasks that might range from coding to working in terminals or investigating with platforms like Splunk or Elastic, whatever the case may be. Personally, I like having various experiences that make those small things and those tasks just a little bit cooler. And you already know, I have a pretty crazy office and content setup over here with various monitors of various sizes, including the 49 inch ultra wide. So I know a thing or two about monitors. So this video is gonna be a full review of the BenQ RD 320UA, especially using it for cybersecurity, coding, as well as content focused tasks. If you wanna check it out, it'll be linked in the description. Also, thanks to BenQ for sending over this monitor. Before we get into the video, be sure to like and subscribe for more cybersecurity content and check out the description for our Discord community and our cybersecurity newsletter. With all of that out of the way, let's start with the basics of this monitor. This monitor has a 32 inch 4K high contrast ratio and BenQ specifically calls this a programming monitor. Why? Well, let's find out. So, for the display, this monitor has a 3840 by 2160 resolution, a 60 Hz refresh rate, a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, and a nano matte panel screen coating, which is very clean. Now, let's briefly discuss the 60 Hz refresh rate. I've used uh, 120 and 144, I believe, and I know the people out there have, you know, various tastes when it comes to refresh rates. Personally, as someone with simple needs, it's perfect for me. I don't game or engage in any activities that require higher refresh rates, so 60 hertz is more than sufficient for my personal purposes. Moving on, for audio, this monitor features two 3W built-in speakers, which I found to be pretty decent, as well as a headphone jack. Now, let's talk connectivity because that's probably one of the most important things you might be looking for in a monitor, and this monitor doesn't lack for that. It's got two HDMI v2.0 ports, one display port, and one USB-C port for power delivery at 90 watts, as well as for data transfer. It's also got a USB Type-B for upstream data flow, two USB Type-A's for downstream data flow, and power charging at 4.5 watts, one USB Type-C for downstream data flow and power charging at 4.5 watts, and a second USB Type-C for downstream data flow and power charging, but this one at 7.5 watts. You also have the ability to daisy chain this display with another BenQ monitor using the USB-C ports and their MST technology. Honestly, this would be super convenient if I wanted to extend this setup to a dual monitor, which I think I might. Now, if you want to get into the nitty gritty details about the very specific specs, I'll leave a link to a BenQ site in the description below and you can find all of those details over there. So honestly, for a price point of $700, these are all pretty good. But before we jump to conclusions, let's explore other things like the actual display. First, this monitor's appearance is very vivid. That was the first thing that literally caught my eye about it. It's literally crystal clear. And it has a coding mode, which you would expect since it's a programming monitor. And this mode includes light and dark themes that enhance code visibility and make the lines of code stand out even more. Now, what if you're not coding and say you're, God forbid, writing PowerShell scripts? Well, it works just as well for that. It also has a really cool moon halo light that just changes up the entire vibe. Also, another cool thing is that this monitor came with an ergonomic arm that is super easy to assemble and makes adjusting it a breeze. The monitor also has a built-in sensor that can adjust the brightness based on the light in your room, which they call night house protection. At first, I didn't really understand what it did, but it made more sense when I used it a bit more frequently over the course of various times of the day. Overall, I think this monitor is excellent. I've been doing a lot of work on it for the past few days, and I can't recommend it enough if it's within your budget. Again, if you want to check it out, it'll be linked in the description. And once again, thanks to BenQ for sending over this monitor. That being said, if you want to see a complete review of my 2024 cybersecurity and content setup, check out this video, which is going to be displayed somewhere on your screen right now. See ya.